Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson 15, representing three-dimensional figures using nets. So, there's a word that we haven't seen yet that is called a net. No, it's not used to catch fish in this situation. It is used to take a three-dimensional figure, cut it apart, and lay it out in two-dimensional form. So, it's flat has length and width but no height. So I'm going to borrow a video from this person here that's on the internet, head of a cube animation, and I will credit them. It is gaming to learn. It's just a quick, real short animation. So I do want to credit the author of this. And I'm just going to press play. And that is a cube laying out flat. Put it back together and boom, there it is. Okay, so that is what a net is. So if we take a cube and unfold it, how, which ways can we do that in order to get a cube? So some of these here. So on the first exercise, it says nets are two-dimensional figures that can be folded into three-dimensional solids. Some of the drawings below are nets of cubes. Others are not nets of cubes. They can be folded but not into cubes. So we have to decide which ones can and which ones can't. Okay, so A says experiment with the larger cutout patterns provided. So in class, I gave my students each a cutout. And I use all of these here. And everybody got one cutout and they cut it out, folded it, and then I asked them if they were able to make a cube out of it or not. And if you are, if this was the bottom here, and this is a side, this side would fold up and this side would fold up. So this would be the top. And when I fold this side up, this one would go over here, so that would also be a side. So A is, let me use green for yes, A is a net of a cube. If I took B and I called this the bottom, this would be the left side, this would be the top side, or the front side, back side, whichever way you look at it, right side, and this would be the front side, I guess, if this were the front this way. And when I fold this up, and this one over, then this would be my top going over here. Some people are really good at picturing these things. Others have a little bit of more difficulty understanding how to figure that out and being able to try it with an actual model of a net or cut out from a piece of paper might be the best way to learn what that thing will look like when you fold it. So this one here, if this was the bottom, this would be the back side. This would be the, a side, this would be the top, this would be a side, and this would be a, the front side here. So C would also fold up to a box. Okay, but then when we run into something like this, okay, this piece here is, if that is my bottom, this would be the left side, this would be the right side, and this would be the top. Because if this folds up, that has to flip over top of it, like in that little video I just showed you. And this would be the back side, and uh-oh, we have two tops. And no front side, so there'd be a hole on this side, and these two tops overlap each other, so D is not a net. Okay? So now if I do this, if this is the bottom here, this is my bottom. This is a side, this is the front side, this is the right side fold that up, then this would be folded in. This would be my back side, and this would be my top. That is a net. I don't know how effective this is, except for you trying this and checking to see if you were right. Um, this is going to be a very short video because it's the only part of the ex exercise. Okay, F. Now, first of all, I need to choose um, what is going to be my bottom. So if I just leave this where it is, that's my bottom. This would be a side, and this would be a side. So this would have to flip over top, so that's my top. But if I fold this side down, it's going to be on top of this side, so we are done. That is not a net of a cube. Okay, so now if I look at G and call this my bottom, this is my left side, back side, right side, top, and then this would fold down front, that is my front side, that is a net of a cube. Okay, H. Let me think about this one a second. Mm, can H be folded into a cube? I don't think so. If this is my bottom, 
and this is a side, this would be the top. This is a side, this would have to be a top. We have two tops, not possible. So H is not a net. All right, I. Okay, so if I call this my bottom, this is the front side, this is the right side, this would be the top. Flipping this over to the other side would be my side here, and then when I fold this, picture that upside down, flipped over here, it would fold over this way to be the other back side over here. So I is a net. J, if this is my bottom, this is the right side, this would have to be the top to flip up and over. This would be my front side, and this would be another top. That is not good. We have two tops overlapping each other, so J is not a net. Okay. K. If this is my bottom, and I cut this all out, fold this up, fold this up, this piece is now no longer connected. If I fold these up, if I cut it from here, we're not going to cut anything in between, so this can't even get folded. It can get folded one way, but then it can't fold the other, so K is not a net. All right, L, let's make this my bottom. This is my front side, so when I fold that up, this would be my right side, this would be my left side, this would be my top, and this would fold down over here, so that would be the back side. L is a net. M. If this is my bottom, this would be the back side, this would be the front side, right side, top, left side, once flipped all the way over here, M is a net. Okay. N, if this is my bottom, this is my right side, so this would be my left side, we're okay so far. This would be my front side flipped up. This would come around. That would be my left side. But if this is flipped up and that's flipped over here, this cannot go up to the top. It's going to be another back side overlapping here with no top. So N is not a net. O is a net because if this is the bottom, this would be the front side and this would be the left side. This would be the right side. Fold this over to be the back side, and this would end up being my top. O is going to work. P. This is the bottom, front side. Fold it up, then this would fold over this way. That'd be my right side and my back side. So that would go around here. This would be my left side, and this would flip over top. So P is untapped. Q. Let's make this our bottom. So we have a right side, we have a left side, we have a front side, we have a top. But if I flip that over to the top, I then have another right side overlapping with no back side. Q is not a net. R. If this is the bottom, this is the right side, this is the front side, this would flip around to be the back side. Continuing around would be the other side. And we would end up with this being on top of this side and no top, so that is not a net. If this is my bottom, this would be my right side, my left side, my back side. Fold these up, and these would both be front sides. We would have no top on this and a side overlapping. And finally, T. I know this is a net. This is the most popular net for a cube, and it's the T shape. This is my bottom, this is my right side, my top, or my back side, my front side, my left side, and this is my top, so T is a net. Okay, so it says experiment with large cutouts, we did that in class. Uh, B says write the letters of the figures that can be folded into a cube, so down here I should have A, B, C, E, G, I, L, M, O, P, and T. Write the letters of the figures that cannot be folded into a cube. Well, that would be, I'll change to red because they can't. D, F, H, J, K, N, Q, R, S. Are the non-net figures. Okay, so
So that is the end of lesson 15. <laughs> Go to your problem set. And oh, by the way, smash the button.